And today the weather, as you can see, like tons of sun. It's super beautiful. I was like, oh, I should probably film like video videos today, but I, weather is so nice. Also, more so beyond just the weather being nice. I'm not like slacking on YouTube videos. It's just more this week. The weather has been horrifyingly like cold and it's been raining and snowing so it creates a very unsafe situation for like driving and walking so i literally like i go to bed i wake up i go to work i come home i go to bed i wake up i go to work i come home so that's been like what's been going on this week so i haven't run any errands like social slash personal life is nothing so i need to go to the bank i need to go to ups i need to go post office um i need to return some stuff and okay also i checked the mcdonald's app today it's buy one get one free large fries that's exciting that's crazy exciting you know why to me there's only one size of fries at mcdonald's and that is a large fry i don't know why people are buying other sizes uh, although I do feel like sometimes I feel like I should, should I get like a medium because I'm the person that eats all the fries And by the time I get to work or home or wherever I'm supposed to be I have like no fries to go with my meal. Oh my god. My face is so itchy. Do you guys see this? This like redness right here It's like pink. Well, it's pink now um, And I'm not someone that likes to pile on makeup to cover things like if there's like a situation somewhere I just kind of let it be like right here, too I have been using benzoyl peroxide and there's nothing wrong with benzoyl peroxide I think I just I put it on like three nights in a row and maybe I should have like skipped a night in between because I was getting like little tiny bumps and They were really small like little little teeny tiny zits, you know those kind And now it's like really irritated and it looks like I have like texture on my face Which I really don't like and it's not so much the look of it, but it just it feels irritated okay. It feels itchy and it feels like you know how like there's like like you feel like there's little cotton fuzzies there, but like there it's not. It, you just you keep wanting to go like this, but there's actually nothing there. So there are two videos up right now. Um, one is a vlog, and another one, ooh, is like a TJ Maxx Marshalls video. So like all kinds of fun like beauty and skincare stuff that I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls probably since maybe October ish. So October, November. December, January, February, so like five months worth of like random stuff I've been finding. I've been wanting to do a video like that for a really long time because you can find really cool stuff, but it's not like you can just go there and haul. I mean, you could, it just depends on like what you find, but like for me, it's extremely cumulative. All right, guys, I just went to Ulta because um, you know how they do like some kind of birthday thing. So you get a um, roller lash from benefit which i've never tried before and i probably wouldn't try something like this because it's probably not waterproof but things that like are supposed to lift and curl i think are kind of like somewhere in between you know like a regular formula and a waterproof formula so um i'm gonna try that they said it's a ten dollar value i'm like i don't know guys we're kind of tiny so there's a five below right next to Ulta and um, I love my glasses. You guys love these. They're by Lispex. I think I got, I have this pair and I have the same pair in like a cat eye, not a cat eye. These are cat eyes in a turtle frame or a tortoise shell frame, a turtle frame. Here is in a half. Sh okay. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, five below. Have you guys ever seen these before? These are Butterfinger covered pretzels. Yeah. All right, here we go. I don't have, like, I have my mount, but this camera isn't on, like, a... So let's just hope it doesn't move. Ugh, okay. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. These are exactly how I want them to taste. Mm-hmm, um. mm -hmm, okay, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so today was kind of uneventful. I went to Target, returned some stuff, didn't wander around. I don't know, I didn't feel the compulsion to wander around Target. And then uh, the went to TJ Maxx. I don't think I've ever walked in there. Well, I guess I have walked in there and not bought anything, but like I was just not feeling anything today, guys. But I told you guys earlier, right? Buy one, get one free large fries at, uh, okay, those aren't finished. They're almost halfway. 
I mean, are we super excited? Also, it's shamrock shake time. So, super exciting, right? So, mm. All right, are you guys interested? Do you guys like those like eating videos? Like I wouldn't like do like a mukbang. I'm not someone that can like gorge on food. I used to be able to, now I can't. Now I have like, I think normal size meals, but I used to be able to eat a lot, but now not so much. But would you guys be interested in like seeing those kind of videos where like I eat and we talk and, well not we talk, I eat and I talk to you and then you reply in the comments or, um, because Andrew does those videos and I totally like them when like, it's just him eating and talking. I don't I don't know if I'm really into those ASMR videos that I really I can't get into. Um, I feel like from like the beginning of my channel people have told me that they want me to do ASMR videos and I'm just and at first I didn't know what that was so I went and looked it up and it's a lot of whispering like almost inconspicuous like you can't even hear it um, and I was like telling Andrew about it. I'm like that's I, I don't I, I can't do it because I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like if like I get makeup, I get the draw of it so I can do videos about makeup. But and I, and those ASMR videos are really popular. And these like, you know, there's soft speaking or soft talking videos and I watch those still I couldn't really get into that either. I was thinking about doing um like where I'm just like reading something like reading a story or reading a poem or I don't know because a lot of uh, you guys had said that you guys like listen to my videos after work to relax or you will make like a playlist of my videos so that you can fall asleep and I'm like well that's really interesting and awkward but I, I, I if I can help you in any way I'm more than happy to so um, I don't know if I want to put it on this channel or if I want to do another channel for it or I don't I don't know let me I'm just putting a feeler out let me know what you guys think about something like that okay so I just got home from work and I had like a BOGO coupon for this soup this place called Zoop I don't know if you guys have it by you but this is probably my second time getting stuff from them and it's a little salty I think I don't know I had like stuffed bell pepper for lunch and then this one is like the chicken pot pie one which i don't know we'll see all right so we're gonna open some packages i really hope this is gonna work because i turned off the autofocus because i i felt like it was like focusing on stuff in the background but okay anyway first package macy's all right so <laughs> I ordered the Gelee bronzer, like the one in the compact, and then they send me this Gelee bronzer, which is not what I want, and now I have to go through the hassle of returning it. Anyway, that was pointless. The whole point was uh, they came out with a Gelee powder bronzer. They came out with a Gelee highlighter last year. I put it on my Instagram. I was like so excited about it they called gelee formula and you know after they came out with heat wave and shimmering sands and stuff like that we were all like so amped whenever Estee Lauder used the word gelee in any product and then it was like this shade it was like my skin tone and maybe a hair darker and the finish was very satiny and I was like who is using this as a highlighter or anything it doesn't you know have any luminosity whatever I mean, anyways, this was I don't know Okay, the next package is from Sephora. Ooh, okay, there, I think there's a lot of good samples in this one. Um, there's This is the De Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum, so I'm pretty excited for that. Ooh, another sample is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne in a Snap. That's kind of cool, it's like in a little Q-tip and, and then you can apply it to your whatever situation. The Touche Clot Latent Radiance Awakening Foundation. Ooh, okay, because I want to try this because I love the original one so much. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is a really bad day to be doing these kind of unboxings. Okay, this is from Milk Makeup. I had ordered the nude shade before, and they sent me this shade. So I ordered the nude shade again, and they send me this shade. Why? <laughs> And the thing is, on my, on the thing, it always says the nude shade, but they keep sending me this shade, and they don't sell it in Sephora's Buy Me, I can't just return and pick up, oh, I'm so irritated. Alright, and then I picked up the Burberry, what is it called, the Eye Color Contour Smoke and Sculpt Pen, and I got it in Midnight Brown, because I love 
the original eyeshadow in Midnight Brown so much. So let's see. This is pretty. Yeah, I'm probably going to enjoy this. I'm not dumb, so I can't really show you that. Ooh, I have a glossy box to share with you guys, which is nice. I filmed a video where I talked about the first glossy box I got, but I don't know if I... I uh, edit, edited it and like put it up or not. I probably didn't. Guilt City had a promotion on their website and I think with like there's maybe like a promotion on top of the voucher. I think I ended up getting like a year of glossy box for like nine to ten dollars a box which I thought was pretty good because I think it runs for about 21 a box. So this is the March 2016 box. They have really cute boxes. I always think their boxes are really great. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. First thing is this I Love Raspberry and Blackberry hand lotion. I've never tried this brand before, so we'll see if it's any good. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny sample called Vine Vera Resveratrol Skin Care Moisture Day Cream. Okay, I'm about that. This is why I kind of oohed and odd before. This is from Luxie Beauty, and you get a full-size brush. I love the Luxie Beauty brushes. We got some at Generation Beauty and I had put in a purchase, like a website, like a, I can't even speak today, an online order for a couple brushes there. So maybe you'll see like a Luxie Beauty uh, review soon, but this is the, an angled blush brush. So that's a really nice, like full size thing in the box. What else do we have in here? Oh, another moisture day cream. Was I supposed to get two? Now I think I was supposed to get one. Okay, now I'm in a better mood. <laughs> and then you get an Ico, that's where I draw the line. Waterproof lash enhancing in carbon black, the I Do Liquid Liner. Okay, a little felt tip liner. You know how I'm not a big fan of felt tip liners, but that was nice. I thought something else. Oh. You get a, I think this is, is this full size? No, it has to be, it can't be full size. No, I think it is full size. It's a melted lipstick from Too Faced in Chihuahua. This is by far the best glossy box I've gotten. Like, definitely. My hair looks really long. I feel like I need to get it cut. Do you guys think I should get it cut? Or maybe I should just curl it. I just did nothing to it today. Oh, it's like a mini size, okay. So it's melted Chihuahua from Too Faced. Oh, I'm so excited. There's a swatch of Melted Chihuahua. It's such a nice color. Okay, this was like totally a great box. Hey guys, so today's a Saturday. Like usual, that's when we vlog. I've been just kind of busier lately at work, so like weekday vlogging is not very like gonna happen. But uh, today, like I said, it's Saturday, and I'm going to go to into the office for a little bit. Um, I have the most unglamorous work life. So after work, I'm gonna go pick up a prescription. I have to, oh, well, not have to, but I want to do my groceries now just cause I feel like I wanna film tomorrow. So I'm not gonna leave the house because, do you guys do that? You guys who film, don't you feel like if you go <laughs> somewhere, you feel like you're cheating on your YouTube and like you're like, oh, I really should film like another video, something like that. Ooh, the weather is so nice today. There's like people out jogging. He is probably too young for me. So I put up a video today and it's the $1,000 face tag. And I was slightly, I had like hesitant feelings just because I didn't want to get like comments of like, that's too much money or you know, something like, that's like a thousand dollars worth of makeup on her face and she still looks ugly. You know how people like will leave comments like that and you're like, I don't, why, why, why are you being so mean to me? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had, I really did have so much fun like filming it and just sharing like the most expensive item in my makeup collection, you know, per category or by category. Oh, so I, I think I filmed like a little bit of a haul or what I thought was going to be a haul in, in like a vlog. And I had ordered what I thought was going to be a Gelée bronzer from Estee Lauder that was a powder. But it turns out that they sent me a liquid version. So I put in another order 
for the July bronzer that was supposed to be a powder on the Macy's website again and I did it for pickup in store. So I return the liquid bronzer and then I go to pick up the compact and it's not a compact. It's still a liquid. So I think that there is no powder July bronzer. I think Macy's is just the whole thing and they posted a picture maybe of last year's illuminator and they're calling it that but they also have the liquid bronzer as a separate product i don't know i find it really irritating <laughs> because i'm so looking forward to a gelee bronzer or a gelee anything from estee lauder this year and i know they came out with that trio the highlighter the blush and the contour which i not the contour i guess it's like a bronzer but i picked it up and i liked it i mean the bronze the highlight was pretty it wasn't like breathtaking and then the blush was pretty but it was like a more of a pink tone so i wasn't super obsessed with that and then the bronzer shade was like kind of like a pretty almost peachy color so i was just like what am i really doing with this trio it's not like i can take it i mean i guess i could travel with it but it just it wasn't and for 50 dollars, it just was not like something that i thought i should be keeping okay probably totally shouldn't vlog right now because there's always people in this parking lot but um so i just got out of cvs and what did i do I, I got like hair dye and my prescription which i didn't pay for my prescription this time i actually don't know why how does this work like i paid for it past actually every time i picked up this prescription i've had to pay for it but today it was like there's no charge i'm like why is that he's like it's covered and i'm like well who's covering it because i would like them to cover it every month <laughs> there's these butterfinger peanut butter cups doesn't that sound like overkill but like in, in a really amazing way and then these reese's pieces peanut butter eggs which i'm guessing is just like a large version of those tiny ones which i don't know why i got them i just you know, it's like i had a coupon and i love chocolate and i'm like oh, let me get it what else i got two of the maybelline volume express mascaras this is my bottom lash mascara the cat eyes one and i think it was buy two maybelline items get five dollars extra bucks so i made this purchase first and then with that five dollars that i got back i made this purchase and it's the l'oreal feria violet vixen which is my hair color i always constantly get questions on this i answer i try to answer every time but yeah this is the hair dye i use i think it was two for 1950 and i had a two dollar coupon and a five dollar coupon so it dropped it to around 13 bucks for both for two boxes which i think is really good okay it's been like i don't know it's been like a good errand running day and I have some really cute stuff from Target I'm gonna share with you guys and I got some groceries too but I'll probably show you that when I get in the onto the inside so I originally went into Target to see if they had the new Sonia Kashuk the little knockout highlighter because ho for highlighting and um, they didn't have it so of course you go into Target you're like well let me just wander around so I got my favorite these caramel cookies the sea salt caramel cookies from Archer Farms and I got two because it was two for seven and I got in the car and I had like five, like immediately, or maybe 10, five, five, we'll say five. And then I got my favorite trail mix. Dark chocolate espresso. I, you've seen this probably at least a few times in a vlog. These are my absolute favorite if you like dark chocolate and coffee flavored stuff. How cute is this? This is like a little pocket portfolio and it's like tortoise print, tortoise shell print. How cute, it was on sale for $3.98 and i just don't have like a document holder like at all like it's just literally like a drawer and there's like everything that's important in my life in there so this is like contributing to my efforts and trying to adult better lastly from target how cute is this this is like an acrylic like jewelry holder it was on sale for $5.98 like there was no barcode they like type it in for me but like it's so sturdy it's so nice it has four tiers up here so i can drop necklaces i'll probably put a lot of like yeah, probably necklaces and like hoop earrings because I'm a big hoop wearer if I'm not wearing like uh, diamond studs. Speaking of adulting, I got a Costco membership. I feel like such a big, such a big girl now. Um, so Living Social did this deal where I think you could pay, it's like, I think a regular membership is 55 bucks. And so they did like a promotion where they gave you like a $20 cash card. You got a free 72 pack of AA batteries, a free pizza, tortilla chips. And then like a fifty dollar off two fifty purchase off of the website. I was like, that seems like a pretty good deal because I've been wanting to get a Costco membership for a while. I always just use my parents, 
but um, they tend to or they got rid of the self checkout in my location so now it's like you gotta be who you say you are so you, no one can you can't just give your card to anybody so I was like Ugh, I have to get my own card so I was like it's been on my mind for a while so when I saw the deal I grabbed it so when I went they're like okay so standard memberships like 55 a year they're like if you upgrade to the executive membership which is 110 so double the price they're like you pay 55 now and we'll give you another $20 cash card on top of the 21 the 20 you're already getting and uh, you get 2% cash back and she's like you know we have a whole slew of other stuff and I know like their tires are pretty cheap in the tire center they install them and everything and they have good like vacation deals and all kinds of stuff so I was like okay she's like also I did not know this about Costco and I'm tend to be kind of familiar with kind of like rewards and deals she's like the way people get free memberships is that when it comes time to renew you should be getting a whatever two percent that you've earned over the course of that year as a check with your renewal she said that if the amount is less than the renewal she's like you can bring it in and they'll give you that money back tell me if i'm saying this correctly anyone that works at costco anyone that has a costco membership am i understanding this properly i don't know uh so i have my free pack of 72 uh double a batteries and then i grabbed some triple a's too because i was kind of running low on these you know for my vibrators and stuff just kidding totally not kidding and then i got soup vegetable soup tomato basil soup organic i don't know i really like their soup which one's really good the lobster bisque that one's delicious okay so groceries this week we have these veggie chips i have four containers of them i love them they have yellow and purple sweet potatoes squashed carrots taro and green beans they are delicious i try to not eat doritos all the time and this is what i do instead these parmesan shredded parmesan okay you're like okay whatever who cares however i have been taking shredded parmesan and spreading it on a plate and then putting it in the microwave for a minute when it comes out i let it sit for like 30 seconds i blot it with like a paper towel and then I just like tear into it like I know this doesn't sound crazy but it's so good and I know I can put it in the oven and it can come out all crispy but I kind of like that it's chewy and crispy I know so hmm <clears throat> interesting lazy girl snack two dozen eggs these were two for three I was really excited because uh, eggs have been really expensive lately oh, I'll show you guys these later kind of a fun buy uh, right i don't know i've seen eggs go up for like oh, almost three dollars a dozen i'm like who where are these eggs coming from we have six avocados it was such a good price i think it was three for two so six for four super super super, super amazing these things ooh, they kind of clouded over a little bit we have twice baked stuffed potato sour cream and then we have them with bacon and cheddar i know this is so not healthy but i usually have this and then a salad i don't know i think i consider that kind of like balance and then we have some chicken drumsticks, which, you know, you can, I sometimes will pair these two together or just chop this into a salad. Okay, so usually when I buy sunglasses, I will drop some change on some Tom Ford glasses or what do I have? I have like Mew Mews. I'm looking into a couple pairs from Versace and Dolce & Gabbana. They just happen to be the kind of lenses I like. And I typically go for a cat eye. So those I will drop money for because those are standard. A cat eye with like an ombre or gradient lens is like my favorite. So like when it's like fun glasses like this that I won't reach for like all the time, I'll like, you know, buy cheaper ones. So these, how cute are these? I've never been someone that thought I could wear like rounded lenses. I might not be able to, we don't know. But how cute are these? Just agree with me. They were $5.99 and I was like, um, yeah, I, I'm into these. These are really cute. I got them at my grocery. Like if you just saw like I, their labels on it said Marks and that is where I got stuff. So these cute, right? Like this is so, so, so anyone that knows me, if you even watched this channel, these are not glasses that I usually would buy. So I'm pretty into them. And this is the second pair. These also, like, not like my standard look, closer to my standard look. Oh my god, these lenses are so red. Like, when I look through them, they really do look like rose uh, colored glasses. So these run straight across, which is another thing I typically don't do. I think they look kind of angry sometimes, but these not so much. And they are very square. So again, not my standard lens, but I really like these. These were also, I think these were $7.99. So, oh my god, these are so cute. And they had them in like black and white, like a black and white tortoise frame. But the ombre was a little, I don't know, it just didn't, I think because of my hair color, I like 
the, the red lens is better. I want to share this with you guys. How cute is this? I got found this long um, glass vase. I think probably at TJ Maxx. And then these were on sale. You know how like when the holiday season's over, everything is like gold and red and green. It kind of goes on sale. So I got these branches for like probably like, really cheap. I don't know, seven, eight bucks. And then I found these at Joann's for 97 cents each, these like faux orchids. I mean, you can see they're missing some of their little whatever, but you know, kind of it goes with it. And I just thought it was so cute. So I set it up and put it over here and I removed the lamps from here. I just thought it looked kind of good, a little more bare. So we'll see what else we do here. Another home decor item I really wanted to share with you guys were these lamps. I say lamps because I got two of them. So in love with them, like it's like this dual like level by level whatever you want to call it lampshade and then the top is like this cute little like bamboo type i don't know gold what do they call these things i know there's a word for these the inside of the lamp is gold i mean how fun and then the bottom is also kind of this um bamboo shape and the base there's like a little bit of like clear acrylic i am so obsessed with these lamps I mean, they're so cute. And I think, I can't remember who they're by. If I, can, if I can find it anywhere on here, I will link it down below. But I'm kind of like trying to set up these bar carts and stuff. I have just bottled water and I totally just removed the labels off of them because it looks cuter that way. And I don't know, I have like random gold shit in the back. I don't know what to do with it, what to do there yet, if you guys have any ideas. I actually picked up a whole bunch of like faux black roses. So I might start doing something with those. So, I think that's it for today. I'm going to eat some food. And, oh, should I share my makeup with you? It's a little faded, but we'll, I'll share it anyway. So, the makeup, the face, like, oh, the foundation is the Ardency In Concentrate. Obsessed. I have been using it for quite some time. I've had it for a while. I picked it up off of Outlook. And mine is in the shade Golden Medium, and I'm an NC25, and I love it. Like, I feel like you can tell it's makeup when you get really close, because it's really full coverage. Like, one pump is, like, way more than I need for my face. And I, when I first started using it, I was just pumping it into a, like, an empty cushion. So the... It was coming across much it was coming across much more lightweight but i started using it like straight from the pump and putting it on my face and i was like holy crap my face looks perfect like it looks like the most perfect makeup face i guess is what i would say the eyes are um a combination of i want to say like makeup geek shadows and the cho sunga 22 jelly shadows which are so pretty i don't know if this is probably not gonna get close enough for you to see how pretty they are and oh uh, let's see the lips are faded these are galany cosmetics or galany i don't know galany it's not galany galany cosmetics and rust and i use a max spice um it's so dry and like because it's been on for like a really long time and i've been eating and drinking and talking i don't know if you can see it or not bronzer probably not bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, not the milk chocolate, the darker one. And then I use ColourPop Wisp for the highlight and the earrings are from New York and Company. If you see these, they're so, so, so lightweight. Oh my gosh, I love them very, very much. And that is it for now. Maybe, maybe we'll end the vlog here, perhaps.